See, the time era of succession is over. Not in the sense that men will not replace other men in what God's called for their purpose, but in the sense of it only being succession only. The time for synergy is upon us. This is how the first century operated and it worked. They turned the world upside down. In order for you to be able to be synergistic in the body of Christ, we have to first of all overcome the abuses of the past without riding the pendulum to the other side of the ditch. I have to say this. 1 Corinthians 4.15 says, For though you have countless guides in Christ, there are many people who can guide you. And we think that's enough. It's enough. I got some friends on Facebook I can get some advice from. They're being a good guide to me. But Paul is talking to the entire church of Corinth. And he says, you have a lot of guides, a lot of teachers, a lot of people that can show you things you might not know. And this is where I'm really... I'm really playing with the snickler here because I set you up with mentors. A mentor and a father is not the same thing. I have many mentors. Bishop is not my only mentor. I have Jonathan Welton as a mentor. You know the difference though? I don't have the DNA of my mentor. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But I do have the DNA of my father. And even if I don't get along with my father, I still have his DNA. Now me and Bishop gets along great. But I'm making a point here. Some of you in the natural, you had dysfunctional families, but you still had your father's DNA. Despite the abuses that went on during the shepherding movement, and this is something that comes up on Facebook all the time, people who watch my videos. Despite the abuses of the shepherding movement, we do not throw out 1 Corinthians 4.15 with the bathwater. It's the baby here. We cannot afford to create something else that's going to be just as bad as what was dismantled in the past. If we do not learn how to keep balance in ministry, we will always build something that's ultimately going to have to have more time and more effort. God's going to have to raise up somebody else simply to dismantle the monster that was created to be able to counteract the monster that was created prior. Now I'm preaching better than this, guys. We swing. We swing. I'm mad at you. I'm going over here. When God's saying no, you get back over here in the center. And you walk the straight and the narrow. Wide is the gate that leads to destruction. Where is the wideness? The wideness is when you get out of the center. The wideness is when you get into this ditch or you go over here into this ditch. I'm tired of watching men and women go into the ditch because they cannot resolve the conflict of the issues of the past. And instead of that, they want to go ahead and create something and in that they're wanting to get to the place where they think that scripture is more of an eisegesis instead of an exegesis and they begin to dismiss entire passages because of cultural context and saying it has no application to us today because it hurts my feelings okay. Okay. Right. Mm. yeah 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 it is, it's, it's reality. It's truth. And see, what happens is that when something surfaces in Scripture that does not look like what we want it to look like, we have a knee-jerk reaction. Reaction is never a fruit of the Spirit. Reaction is counterproductive to anything on a biblical ministerial basis. When we react, what happens is that we will go to the, the extreme of the other side of the ditch.
What we have to do is rediscover the truth and we have to bring it into alignment. Watch this. This creates synergy. Why? Because we will then have a people working together as one. As one. As one. Shields linked together. Swords linked together. Spears linked together. All of us. We have each other's back. We have each other's front. We're walking together. We're side by side. We're moving in this together as one truth. Going in rank and order. Being led by the spirit and not by the flesh. Now, we're our feelings on our shoulders, but being able to get to a place where we'll say, okay, listen to this. I may not agree with that, but I'm not going to allow that to keep me from going to that. Yeah. Jesus. I cannot allow something that I disagree with to keep me from my destiny. Because even though we have many, many mentors in the Lord's body, we don't have many fathers. And Paul says, I have become your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. So we're connecting rightly to the body. We're finding our spiritual fathers. And we're understanding that this brings us into the synergy of the generation. Instead of having to start all over with. Watch this. This is what happens. Can you succeed without a spiritual father? To a certain extent, maybe. But this is what happens. It's like you have to do it all on your own. You have to start it all over. You have to, you have to destroy relationships. You have to say, forget it. I'm going elsewhere. I'm going to do my own thing. It hurts. And then you have to build yourself up eventually. And then what's going to happen if you don't understand fatherhood? That means you're not going to have any sons and daughters to give your vision to. And that means that your vision dies with you. And then the next generation starts all over again. And it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that continues over and over and over and over. Synergy is being able to tap into the potential that's in my father. And that way I can take it to the next place. My God, are you hearing me? See, I'm not just building on Bishop George Curry this morning. I'm building on Ern Baxter. And Ern, I'm building off of what Ern Baxter built off of. And he set up under William Branham. I'm taking those miracles from that man. Are you hearing me? Because it's the synergy of the nations. God is raising up generations. That's not a phrase of finding their fathers in the faith and allowing God to raise them up and use them for the glory of God. The church first and foremost is a family and that family is made up of fathers and mothers, sisters and brothers.